If you are running your Fractrate trading bot on a headless server, in other words a server without any graphical interface, and you don't want to use a web interface for some reason, then there is another lightweight alternative that you can use to see how your trading bots are doing without having to use a browser, the Fractrate Textual User Interface. The Fractrate Textual User Interface, short uh, the FDUI, is developed by the same people who also made significant contributions to the original Fractrate trading bot. So all credits go to these developers, and if you want to support them, you can do this by being their sponsor or doing a contribution on their GitHub account. This is the GitHub repository of the code, and it also contains all the information needed to install this piece of software. Now I said, FTUI is a way to see the status of your trading bot or trading bots without having to use a web browser. Everything is uh, through the terminal interface. It has a somewhat spartan look, but this is also intentionally done. A possible use case for using FTUI is uh, when you have a trading bot running on a remote server that is not allowed to host websites, or your company is not allowing you to visit websites or allows uh, HTTP or HTTPS traffic. However, if there is an open port that you can use, then you might be able to create an SSH server on that port and then can access the server over that port to uh, then open FTUI. But this is just a quick idea of mine. Now, to make this interface work, you have to have a fully working Fractrate bot with the REST API server activated. And if you don't have it, then I have multiple videos where I demonstrate how you can install this bot software on your machine. Now if you have a bot running but the API is not activated, then follow the steps I will show you in a moment. But if you already have the API activated, then you can skip this step. So the procedure is not difficult to uh, install an API service. You only have to choose a good username and a hard to guess password here because uh, after enabling this API on your bot, it can be accessed and controlled over the internet. And to enable the REST API, I will follow the instructions that are on the Fractrate site. This whole section has to be present in your Fractrate configuration. And in my case it's the config JSON, and my complete API section looks like this. After you have altered your configuration file with these settings, save the file and restart your bot. And if everything goes well, you will see in the logs that the REST API service is started. Now to check if the API is running, we can do a ping to the server with our browser. But if you are not able to do this, you can also use curl on the terminal interface to see the pong response. And after this step has successfully done, let's install the FTUI. The readme of the repository has all the information that we need to install this program on a secondary server or client. And in this case I will use the same server for demonstration purposes, but you can use this on a different machine too to access everything remotely. And the installation is super simple. First clone the repository to a local directory like this, and then enter that directory and make a Python virtual environment, like I do here. and then activate it. Install the pip package like this in the virtual environment. And after this has all been done, it's time to create a configuration file that contains the information to reach your Fractrate server or servers, because you can monitor multiple servers with this package. I didn't think I mentioned that already. Just copy this config YAML example and paste it into your terminal text editor. Like this. And after that it's time to alter the settings like the bot name, username, password, IP and port number. In this case I also have added my live trading server and my dry run server. Now save the file and then use the command to start FTUI. And if everything went correctly, you can now monitor the bot instances from the terminal. And what's so nice about this interface is that it can run over the menus uh, using the tab button, but I can also use it with my mouse. Let's see what this dashboard has to offer. First of all, we have the main dashboard that opens at the start of the program, and it contains the open, closed, daily, weekly, and monthly profits at the top. Then it shows the three bots with their performance indicators in the middle part. And here we can see and close multiple screens that contains the open trades, all the closed trades, and also the cumulative profit gathered over all the bots, together with all kinds of additional information about the trades. Below in this screen there are some quick menu letters, the D is for the dashboard we now see, 
And if I press B, then I can select a specific bot in the top menu, and then I can gather all kinds of information about that bot. Now, if you know the web interface of Fractrate, then you can immediately see lots of resemblances with the web interface. I can click over these menu items to see all the data of that specific trading bot, like open trades, closed trades, summaries, performance, general logs, and even system information like CPU and RAM used. In the settings page, I can determine if I want to see all these servers or some of them. But the only thing here is that I could not save settings, probably because this product is uh, still in its early stages of development. But nonetheless, early development or not, it looks to be a very mature environment already with all these options available. I really, really like it and I hope that the developers will continue to stick effort in this product because it fills my need for a lightweight solution to monitor and track the trades on my trading bots. For example, now I can use an old Raspberry Pi and stick a small LCD to it uh, to monitor my bots without having to keep a PC running all the time, which saves energy and money and lowers my carbon footprint. Now, at the end of this video, I hope that you are also very enthusiastic about this additional feature from the Fractrade developers and will use this software too. And now we are at the end of this video. Please click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!